We're gonna start the AM off on the right note. We're gonna get a lot of clarity, do a lot of inner healing. That way we can seize this year. It's all about making sure your mental is always decluttering any type of baggage. That means if you're thinking about anything from the past, AKA that is baggage. What's up YouTube? But this video is titled, this is why they miss, this is why narcissists mistreated you. All right, yo. And um, you're gonna have better understanding and clarity on the matter after listening to this live because it was just a simple of understanding, you know, vibing with people that connect like yourself. I mean, connect with you on experiences and, you know, have same, you know, uh, wishes and desires similar. You know, it doesn't have to be exact same, but similar in that category to where you can relate to these people. You know what I'm saying? Because this is all about, you know, God is around and God. And when you relate to something, you see that God in that person as well. So God is a trait. God is not just like a specific, you know, well, God is specific, but it's more about what's internally, you know, embedded inside of you that shows if you have that, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? So after understanding this live, you will be on a way better, you know, optimum height in your path because you would have released baggage, AKA, anchor aka dead weights and you will be propelling more forward in your destiny aka making money bread communication relationships all of this comes in the form when you release all of the dead weight because your mind your mind produces thoughts so if your mind produces thoughts of course if there's not you know if they're not aiding in what you wish to manifest then of course it's gonna get it's gonna delay some stuff because then you're not gonna be able to be exactly online so that's why you have to get in uh vibrational alignment of whatever it is you want to miss uh manifest i said mystery but manifest so all right we're gonna start this video <clears throat> and you want and once you declutter this stuff if you want a relationship you will get that relationship you want lots and lots of money i'm talking beyond six seven figures that is also your reality. I'm telling you right now, it's also no different, okay? So, we're about to start this video, all right? So this is why narcissists mistreated you. So these narcissists, all right, they did this intuitively. They intentionally mistreated you. And they not only had plans of mistreating you, but they wanted to bring, well, they actually did. They brought others in to also mistreat you. Now, these others that they brought in they're no different than them. They're like more in their alignment. That's why I say, like when you see other traits in other people, that's more of like, more or less like, you're in, you're, you're in a category with that individual, you know what I'm saying, billionaire club. And these people, the people that come around them are more in the category of a uh, narcissist club, okay? Meaning they gaslight, they do all this stuff, intentionally try to hurt, hurt people, hurt people, all that. This, this is the signs of a narcissist, so, all right. They did this because they brought other people in because they wanted to gang up on you. Like they knew this would have been more like that this when they did it, that it was more like a uh, it was to break you. They wanted to break you. I'm trying to make it look cool. All right. They they intentionally brought in other people to try to break you because that is how deeply you affect these people. You affect these people on an entire different level i'm gonna make sure the light good real quick so these people wanted to make sure that whatever it is that they wanted for you whatever it is that they wanted to do to you was effective okay so just think about it like that it was thought it was uh what's it called it was premeditated is what they call right all right so when they brought these people in, all right, yo, the first plan was to, first of all, discredit your name. They wanted other people to view you worse than how they knew or you're not a bad person, but they wanted people to view you worse of what they felt about you because you're too great, right? That's, that's the first thing. So this is why narcissists mistreated you because they wanted you to feel like you were isolated and you didn't have nobody around you. So when they gung up, when they ganged up and they, they discredited your name to these people, these people felt emotionally driven to try to uh, like, like they had some kind of quarrel with you, like for real, like they felt like they had some type of, you know, animosity with you and that's what they did. So if you ever felt like people were staring at you weird or giving you meme mugs or trying to say little snarky remarks like they know is right. Like they know like they're coming at you in a sly slick way, but not being direct to where they could justify it. 
then that's because they felt like they had a personal vendetta with you based off what these people told them. So these people wanted you to feel like you were completely isolated. I'm telling you right now, the narcissist is very, very, very sick people because they not only will go against you for no reason, but they want everyone else to go against you for no reason as well. They want you to feel like you have nowhere to turn, like these people just, and they want to do it for no reason because they felt like that's attention that's taken away from them. And anytime they feel like attention is not take, uh, anytime they feel like this attention is taken away from them, they're going to feel emotionally driven to try to cause any type of chaos disruption into your life. Because these people feel, feel some kind of way. They feel like you are coming at them being your authentic self and not being like them. Like, just, I'm, I'm saying, just make it wherever it makes sense, okay? So these narcissists, and they mistreated you because you would not fall in suit to whatever it is that they were doing. Like, they wanted you to be like them. Like, they wanted you to... Wow, they wanted you to be like them, but conform in a way where you're not like overdoing them. You're staying like complacent, but you're staying beneath them. So they didn't want you to like outshine whatever it is they thought, you know, they felt like they were, you know, had a, a, a level over you, a head over you, some knowledge over you, previous experience over you, time over you, something like that. They felt like because they felt like, but these people are most likely older than you. And they felt like because they had an age gap with you, they felt entitled to this so this is where it comes from it comes from like um it comes from embedded uh they're deeply rooted like they think like you know they're favored they think that things should be for them they think that all of it should all the attention and you know you know it's like a uh shit i forget it like this it's like an only kid syndrome get when the only kid when the only child grew, you know what i'm saying he gets all the presents and toys so he felt like you know, after that, after he goes to uh, and he goes to high school and stuff, um, he still feels like things should be placed around him. You know, and this is where the bully comes in line because the bully, you know, what I'm saying they go and they uh, they realize that life is not all about them. So they'll go and pick on certain people to try to displace those feelings onto other people because that's how they're feeling on the inside. So these narcissists. They'll try to mistreat you because they feel like they're being mistreated on every level. Like, they feel like they're not getting what they want. Like, I'm telling you, yo, anytime a narcissist felt like they're petty or feel like they need to get their get back or felt like they've been dissed or felt like they've been, I don't know, uh, what's the word, uh, insulted or something like that, they won't directly come to your face, but they will indirectly, you know, behind your back, behind closed doors, um, they will indirectly, you know, cause or take action on anything that will cause any type of disruption, displacement into your life. So this is why these people and these people don't have to have a reason for doing it. These people are the reason of doing it. Like if you're not jumping or, or bowing or, you know, what, what's it called? Uh, Benefiting their ego, meaning telling them how, oh, rubbing their ego, meaning telling them how good they are. Say, yeah, that was cool, you know, and damn well, it was corn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Lying to people, right? They will find some kind of way because they will felt like they're not, you know, like you dissed them. Like, they're not being gratified or they're not being, you know, whatever it is that they view in their mind. I'm telling you right now, man, narcissists don't have to have a reason to mistreat you. The fact that you are a um, highly favored individual, I don't like to use the chosen word because so many people use that now, but you're a highly favored individual, right? That these people want to mistreat you. They want to cause every type of uh, uh, friction, stagnation, blockages. Like, like if you, if you, um, if you can see through certain family traits and you know, karmatic dudes, like, you can see through your family shit that they gotta let go in order to better your lineage, so that way, you know, you can extend to the next, like, you don't just go, you know, extinct, right? You see that, right? That means that you're just like a, I don't know, you're the Mark Zuckerberg of your family, if you think about it like that. That's why you're not supposed to conform to, like, you know, 
people who are not like yourself. Like if you see people like yourself doing something, that's the category most likely you're supposed to or around that. Like say for example, in that bracket, you feel me? Narcissists mistreat you because they see your greatness. Yo, look, I'm about to tell you right now. Narcissists, they will only mistreat you because they see your greatness. So when they see how great you are, that's your indication that you're doing something correct. And then that is when narcissists will feel, feel the need to do anything that they can do. And most of the time, it's like, I don't know, it's to disrespect, cause disrespect on your name. So they want to tarnish your brand. Actually, no, they mistreat you because they see your greatness. And you need to believe in your greatness because no one's going to mistreat you unless they see something in you that they don't see in themselves. So they they only try to cause friction because they're missing a screw. They're going through something. They are like, you have to think of it like this. This is why you want to picture like, you know, good energy over over consuming people because that is going to diffuse it. Because anytime you try to combat it with low negativity, that only hurts you. I'm telling you, anytime you try to combat people's, you know, negativity with negativity, and that's going to hurt you. So you have to combat it with love, uh, like picture like a white light, right? And then picture that energy just healing and just sending love energy to all that. That is how you diffuse this. I'm telling you right now, you can't uh, send like bad vibes back unless, unless, but I don't recommend do, do that. I don't, I don't recommend do that or do it all the time. Maybe you could do it once if a person's a real douchebag and you're just trying to mirror back just to teach them a lesson. But... Most of the time, when you do that, you cause friction and displacement in your life because that actually puts you, you're lowering yourself down to their own selves. So you're basically, if they're at level three, you just put yourself on level three again when you were at level eight, nine, 10. And that's what most of the time these people wanna do. They wanna put you down to their playing field. So why even allow them to do that anyway? Because that's what they wanna do. They're only upset that you're at a higher playing field. You're on level eight, you're on level six. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing 2K. Thanks for advice. No doubt, no doubt. Yo, anytime you feel them endorphins, anytime you're playing, why do you think I drink this? Because endorphins, it makes you feel good. And then I'll bust out like, you know, a bunch of pull-ups and, you know, work out. You feel me? Endorphins, that makes me feel good. It's healthy. It keeps you in your child essence. That way you go backwards instead of, you know, where people don't want to go. You feel me? Like, look at that. It's just, and it's fun, but you want to have fun doing it. You don't want to have to force it. And these people are mad that you have fun doing stuff. They're not. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you have, like, make it fun. Make it a good environment. Like, have something planned, then go bust out something, and then go do something else, and then... You feel me? Damn. So, go... Go have fun and then go do do something else and then and then and then go back to what you were doing. As long as you enjoy, it's gonna work out for you. Damn, that was confirmation. As long as you like what you're doing, it's gonna and that's why narcissists because they see you having fun. You're not tripping. You are leveling up and coming into all your greatness while having fun. These people, people who are, you know, uh, these narcissists that I'm talking about, they're faking. They're laugh. They're not putting on what it is. What's up? What's up? Good morning. You know what I'm saying, Chelsea? You know, good rise and all that. Um, they're not who they say they are. That's why I say, like, you got to, like, not fight. They fight with they fight. You just send them love because most of the time they just got to do healing anyway. Most of the time they got to fix something about them. And if you if you spend your time trying to place with these people, you're going to set yourself back. You're going to get lost in their sauce and then you won't know. And then you'll wind up in a cold different area that you wasn't planning on going just from these, you know what I'm saying? Dealing, ending up in a cycle. That's why I don't recommend you end up in these cycles with narcissists. Narcissists will message you when you're having fun and then get mad and then go back just to talk more trash just because you're having fun. I'm telling you right now, this is why narcissists treat you because they see you don't care. So they try to, so they have to get their real self out whatever it is way they can. They have to get out negative feelings towards the situation and this is what they use they use any way they can and most of the time it's um done not to your benefit oh definitely it's not but it's behind your back and it's towards other people so nine times out of ten so if you ever notice that like they're talking to someone about you they definitely their been uh, they had a conversation with their best friend mm -hmm. narcissists may treat you because they see that you have so many talents too that's another thing they see that you have so many skills that you can Make money from right now. That's already, already ready, ready available to already utilize to start profiting.
Right now. Nice to see that. For real. They know. Yeah. They know that all you have to do is spend time doing something and have fun and it's just going to prosper. And that's when everybody's just, just going to jump on. This is why they have to cause some type of stagnation, disruption, because you would, you would far exceed their, uh, their accomplishments so fast, which you're already doing that. But you, you, you have to do, you're doing a lot of healing and a lot of family healing and a lot of, you're, you're doing it in your own time, but you're doing it at like a rapid speed right now. It's sped up. You've been doing it sped, but you, you didn't realize that there was so much that you had to fix. Like until you fixed it, there that, 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 uh, that was a lot. It wasn't easy, like healing and letting go and, you know what I'm saying, and forgiving and forgetting. And it's good to forgive and forget, but it's also good to not let people continuously mistreat you in the same way that they did it previously. Because no progress is made. I'm telling you right now, they mistreat you because they know you progress at a, a speed that far exceeds their own their own, um, their own uh, capacity, your own default speed, and they can't compare to you. So they, they try to compare because they cannot compare. And this is why they have to try to discredit you because you're too great. So there's no comparison to which they can't compare, so they mistreat you because they can't compare. Damn, that rhymes. Damn. I'm telling you right now, if they could compare, then they wouldn't mistreat you because they would be too busy comparing. They would be, I mean, you know, they would be too, too busy at your level, but they're not on your level. So they have to mistreat you and try to, you know, bring you down from your, from your level because you're at like a really high, high, high level. So you feel what I'm saying, y'all? Hit that like button. If you guys mess with this, don't forget to share this because this is some real stuff nobody's gonna talk to you about this and a the therapist charges you thousands before you get to know this information damn and then at that time you a little addiction like like i am with this you've grown to an addiction to them and then you gotta keep in order to keep them endorphins going you gotta pay them another thousand dollars that week damn i'm gonna become a therapist i'm gonna go back to school and get my uh md yo i got my ba well i'm like a couple credits away but i basically got, got my ba you know what i'm saying like i just left school to go to uh chiropractic you know massage envy school so and then because i finished up my personal training and that's when i went but this is why they mistreat you because you have so many accomplishments you're so talented so they they don't want you to feel great about yourself when you feel great about yourself this is what magnetized more greatness into your life that's why when you have fun and do something that is going to generate what it is that you want because you're having fun that's why your child asking you what you're that is why these narcissists don't like it because you have fun yo that's why they try to mistreat you though you feel me i guarantee at the end of these videos you'll have a whole different perception on life yourself people around you than you've ever had so congratulations because it took me a long time to build that up